how do you increase your overall strength? Maybe you've been at your routine for a while and you've kind of seen the strength diminish. In other words, well, maybe not even diminish, but you're just not seeing any progress. You're kind of at that steady state where you're strong, but you're not able to lift more. How do you break beyond that? How do you lift more? That's what we're talking about in today's episode. So strap in and get ready for episode 133. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hey, thanks for joining. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today. If you are a first-time listener, welcome to the show. I'm so glad you found us and happy to have you here. And for you, the returning listener, welcome back. I hope that you've been doing good. It's been a crazy year so far, has it not? I mean, I don't know about you, but I am going a bit stir crazy in the house, ready to get out for sure. But that's not what we're talking about. But before we dive into today's content, if you have not checked out our YouTube channel, please head on over there, subscribe to the channel, Turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future videos, but I put out a lot of videos on there dealing with nutrition. I do a lot of full workout videos, both with dumbbells, with full equipment, just with body weight. So a lot of different options on there if you're looking for full workouts. Head on over, youtube.com slash bones to bulk. Please subscribe to the channel, it would mean the world to me. So you haven't seen the returns you want to see in the gym. You're working out consistently, you're eating pretty healthy, but you're just not seeing your lifts go up in terms of how much weight you're putting on the bar. And while I talk all the time about it's not just the weight on the bar, like there's so much more important things to focus on, I do get that you wanna set goals and you wanna progress in how much you can lift. I get that, that is a part of it. It's not the sole goal, but it is a good part of it. And I get the frustration that comes with not being able to increase because first off, that's a normal thing to happen. So don't freak out. Don't feel like you're doing something wrong because it's very normal. I've hit that point many times and I will hit that point more in the future because I know that's a part of the process. But what you need to do is you need to change up what you're doing. And I don't just mean maybe changing up exercises, although that may be a part of it. You need to change up how you're structuring your workout. So I'm going to lay out some key things here. Number one, if you're only working out a muscle group once a week, you need to switch to twice a week. Now, before you say, well, that's too many days a week, you can still do this in four or five days. The way you do it is you group a couple muscles together, maybe chest and triceps on one day, back and biceps on another day, legs and shoulders on a third day. Personally, that's how I like to break it up. That's three days. Now for me, I like to work out every day. So I know that's not for everybody, but with that structure, that's six days a week. Now, if you want, you can triple up your muscle groups. So you can do like chest, triceps, shoulders, back, biceps, and legs. Just keep in mind, if you do that, it's going to be a little bit longer of a workout. You're probably going to be pushing an hour and 15 minutes or so rather than staying under an hour. But for me, I break it up into three. And regardless of how you break it up, it really doesn't matter. You want to be hitting muscle groups twice a week because that is the most efficient way to gain more muscle. Well, I'm not going to say the most efficient. It's like not the, but it's a very key part of getting stronger and being able to push more and pull more. So if you're not workout muscles twice a week. Now, moving on to number two, how do you structure your repetitions, your sets and all that? Well, I'm going to dive into that. So you want to basically change it up from week to week. So break your month up into a cycle. So four weeks, we're going to consider one macro cycle. Now, each week is a micro cycle. And what we're going to do in those micro cycles is in week one, for all your exercises, you're going to do 12 to 15 reps, three sets, 12 to 15 reps, three sets. Now, how do you know how much weight to put on the bar when you're doing 12 to 15 reps? It's going to take a little practice. That week one is going to be a lot of testing. The way to figure it is if you can't hit 12 reps on all three sets, you need to drop the weight. You need to be able to hit at least 12 reps on all three sets. Now, if you hit, let's say 15 on every single set, then increase the weight a little bit. You probably can do a little bit heavier. It should be a struggle on that last set to get to that 12 to 15 rep range, but you should be able to do it. That's how you determine how much weight to start off with in week one. In week two, you are going to switch it to nine to 11 reps. So the reps are going down a little bit, not much. Same principles apply. As much weight as you can while still hitting nine to 11 reps on all three sets. Your weight may increase this week, it may not. You're only dropping your reps by a few, so your weight may not change as far as how much you're able to put on the bar. In week three, you're going to shift 
to six to eight reps. Now, this is a dramatic decrease. This is about half from what you started with in week one. So you definitely should be lifting more weight than you were in week one. So week three is six to eight reps. Again, you've got to hit that six to eight rep range on all three sets. So adjust your weight accordingly. Then in week four, you're going to do three to five reps and you are going to do as much weight as possible and still hit at least three reps on all three sets. By this week, you're going to be lifting a lot heavier than week one. Now is where the fun begins. Obviously, how much you can lift is going to go up as you decrease your reps. But what you're going to do, you're going to start that cycle over. You're going to do this for three cycles. So basically 12 weeks. So in that second cycle, when you start off, so you're starting back to week one, but it's really week five because you've completed a full cycle. You're going back to the high rep range, 12 to 15 reps. But what you're going to find, and maybe not on every single exercise, but on the majority of them, you're going to find that you will be able to lift a little bit heavier than you were one month ago. Why is that? Because you're changing things up, you're making your muscles work differently, and it's enough to make them grow and get you stronger. Same thing applies for after the second four-week cycle. You'll go into that third four-week cycle, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to try to increase your weight as in the previous months. So, if you've never tried this, give it a try. It will do you good. I promise. I have seen great results using this myself and other people that I know who have used it. It's good. It works. Try it out. Another thing I want to kind of go over is how you organize your exercises. Now, it's not so much important as what exercises you do on each of your days. Like I'm just going to use, for example, you're doing chest and triceps. Let's say you do three chest exercises and three tricep exercises on that day. It's not that crucial what exercises you do. You just want to change it up a little bit from the first day of the week that you do chest and triceps to the second day of the week that you do chest and triceps. So for example, let's say on day one of chest and triceps for triceps, you do skull crushers, kickbacks, and tricep pushdowns. Well, maybe change it up a little bit. And in the second day of that week that you work out triceps, do a few different tricep exercises. So you're still working out the same muscle, but you're changing up the exercises from the first half of the week to the second half of the week. Does that make sense? So just kind of keep it changing. It's okay to change it. You're still hitting the same muscle, but you're varying those exercises, which is also going to benefit you. So these are some very basic, very key points that you can hit on right now that don't require doing anything crazy, that you're going to see your strength gains go up. And make sure you log all this because you're going to forget how much you were lifting if you just try to keep it in your memory. So whether you're old school and like using a pad and paper, or if you're like me and you love having apps because apps, let's face it, make our lives so much easier, I highly recommend Fit Notes. Fit Notes. It's an amazing app. It's extremely simple. That's why I love it. All you have to do, you click it open. You have all your muscle groups broken out. You click on your muscle group. It has pretty much every exercise you're going to do under that muscle group already in there. And if it's not in there, all you have to do is hit this plus sign and add your own exercise in there. You name it, whatever you want to name it. Then once you click on that exercise, all you do is put in your weight and your reps and it tracks it all for you. It shows you um, your history. You can go back and look. It shows you when you hit a new PR. There's like a little trophy next to it. So you can kind of keep track of where you are. Again, it is. it takes me literally seconds to do in between my sets. So I'm not wasting all this time plugging in all this information. So and I'm not getting paid or endorsed by them. I just, <laughs> I wish I was, but I love the app Fit Notes. So go grab that app. All right. Well, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. If you are on any social media platform, please follow us. That is really how I connect with all of you out there is through my social media platform. So whether it be Pinterest or TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, we have an amazing group of people over on Facebook on all walks of the journey from very beginner to intermediate to advanced to other trainers. Like the whole gamut is there. It's just a great place to encourage one another and to push each other on. If you want to direct message me, I love hearing from you. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions for the show, IG is the best place to hit me up. It's at Bones to Bulk. That's what I am everywhere, at Bones to Bulk. You can find me. All right, with that being said, remember, no matter what walls you've hit, what things you're coming up against, you can hit every single fitness goal you want to. You've got this. Bones to Bulk.